for a value such as x is equal to 4 by 3, you see square root of x by 3 is of course not an integer. So this condition is met and the value of root 3x would become square root of 3 times 4 by 3 which is equal to square root of 4 which is equal to 2. And therefore for such cases we get yes as the answer that yes the value of square root 3x is an integer. And of course for a lot of values say x is equal to 5 you will get no as answer. It's not about getting no. No's are easy to get. It's about getting such peculiar cases where yes is also possible. So yes and no both are possible for statement 1. Statement 1 is not sufficient. Look at statement 2 now. This can be written as x root 3. Now we know that x root 3 is an integer. We have to find whether square root of 3x is an integer. So let's consider 3x here. See, 3x can be written as root 3 times x root 3, okay? And we know that x root 3 is an integer, right? This is what statement 2 says, that x root 3 is an integer. We know that x is not equal to 0 because x is greater than 1. And therefore, if this part is an integer, see, an integer times root 3 is never an integer. So, we know that 3x is not an integer and if 3x is not an integer, square root of 3x can never be an integer. Square root of something is an integer when the expression inside it is a perfect square and therefore definitely an integer. So, if 3x is not an integer, square root of 3x can never be an integer. Statement 2 leads to a consistent no as an answer. Statement 2 alone is sufficient and therefore b is the correct answer choice.